All right, we've got the second of the uh, Low Pass Gate Rev 2 videos right here for you. I am going to go ahead and mess around a little bit more. I changed some of the settings here. I had a cable problem in the last video, replaced that cable, and uh, switched it up a little bit because I want to demonstrate what it's like to have a sequencer control the frequency of the Low Pass Gate. Let's go ahead and turn up some of the volumes here of the three VCOs. Again, that's three MOTM VCOs controlling it, or feeding into the audio inputs here through the internal mixer. So we got those fed in. I've got the resonance turned up to be pretty rude. And the CV out of my sequencer is coming into the CV input where you would typically run a gate signal to a low pass gate. Now I'm going to turn the offset down. It's fully up right now. As I turn that down, you're going to hear the effect of the gate come in. But you're going to hear it controlled by the rude, rude resonance. Here we go. Now, let me add, I also have a pulse wave coming into the control input, so let's add some of that. sequence and we'll have it reverse. I'm going to change the uh, control input to the pulse out of the sequencer here. resonance right now. Turn the resonance up a bit. Last part of this I want to demo here before we move on to uh, taking a look at the PCB. This is all this is you're hearing is actual resonance of the low pass gate. Let's turn the resonance all the way up, which it is. So with no VCO plugged in, in frequency mode, you actually can get into some sort of uh, almost like wobble buggish type territory.
And real quick here, let me grab my screwdriver, precariously hold my camera in my other hand, and we will unscrew this so I can show you just exactly what the PCB is looking like with the Rev2 version with the components. The PCB, I'd say, the design, the bug process is about 95% complete. Uh, I have a couple things to work out, but as you can see, we've got the board mounted pots here. We've got everything really lined up looking nice. Um, Power's all filtered and looking great. All of the components were good. Basically, with the Alpha Pots and the Vactrols, it costs about, I don't know, I'd say somewhere between $25 and $30 uh, for the parts for this. It's hard to say because I bought enough for three. Um, you got to figure shipping is going to be a big chunk of anything you buy nowadays. Uh, you know, there's a big fee for handling and all of that from Mauser. I bought, I, I bought all my parts from Mauser. The parts list I'm going to have for this actually shows all the part numbers from Mauser. The only thing you cannot get from them are the Vactrols, which you can get at Allied Electronics, or maybe you have some sitting around on your project bench. But um, things are looking pretty good. You can see it's a it's a pretty compact circuit board. It is 2.5 inches by 3 and uh, 3.8 inches, I believe. And um, let me show just down the back of the module. There's all the audio connectors. Uh, I like to use the rotary switch. You can use this uh, three-pole double throw uh, switch if you like, 3PDT, and um, I had to use cheap jacks here because I'm waiting for a, another shipment to come in and didn't want to wait to get this out to you guys. So thanks for checking it out. Hope uh, you're interested in the PCB. If you are, check out electromusic.com and look for the low pass gate forum and uh, we'll get you uh, set up. Thanks much for checking it out. See you later.